Hello YouTubers, Alaska Prepper here. Well, ladies and gentlemen, when we get home, I'm going to go over a few things with you that I've accrued over the last month or so that I don't think too many people are thinking about stocking up on or even having. But since I am on my way home from dropping off Little Miss Alaska Prepper, I thought that I'd show you what gasoline and fuel oil prices are. So I have to make two stops today because I get my gasoline at Costco but my fuel oil, I get it at my favorite gas station. They don't sell fuel oil here at Costco. So I'm going to go ahead and gas up. Now, as you can see over here, gas prices at Costco for regular unleaded is $3.59. And for premium is $3.79, which is actually a little bit better than what it is out in town in the regular gas stations. And we'll check the price of the uh, gasoline over at my favorite gas station and you'll see that it's at least 10, 20 cents more than what it is here. Now, for those of you that did not see me go over this here a while back, this stable fuel stabilizer is a new one that I see they came out with. I'm not sure if they've had it for a long time or not, but I never seen it before but about a month or so ago. And this one treats against ethanol damage. So this is the one that I'm using now. I have a lot of the regular stuff, but I've been using this one until they stop using ethanol and gasoline, which I think that eventually they're gonna have to stop using ethanol and gasoline because we're gonna need the corn to eat instead of uh, putting it in our gasoline. And as you can see, only about one ounce is all you need of this in order to treat a five gallon container. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so we are at my favorite gas station right here. Let me show you what gas prices are here. Well, here they're about almost 20 cents more a gallon for your regular. Uh, 392 for mid-grade and 407 for premium. Now let's go take a look at what the gas prices are for, or where the prices are for fuel. All right, here's the fuel oil or the heating oil, and it's $3 a gallon for heating oil. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. Actually, I've been back for a little bit. I had to wait for it to get light outside because sunrise isn't about, till about 9.30 or so here nowadays. It gets a little worse as we progress into the month of December. But uh, like I said, I had to wait about an hour for the sun to come out or for it to be light enough out here for me to do a little recording. As you can see, I've got my two fuel cans and they're full and they're ready to go to their home, which is my fuel tent. The first thing that I want to show you, ladies and gentlemen, of course, besides having extra fuel cans with extra fuel in it, one of the things that I really haven't seen a lot of people talk about or seen them use is something that you saw me use on my last video. And that's a cart. I call it a trolley, all right? But I know that it's just a hand truck. I think it's what people call it. But this is a little hand truck that I picked up at Costco a while back. And it is an awesome little hand truck. I paid $99.99 for it. I am very happy that I picked it up because this acts as kind of like a little flatbed, as you see right there. But you can also configure it to be a two-wheel hand truck where you uh, use it like to move furniture around and stuff like that. But the reason that I have it configured this way right now is because I'm going to put my fuel on it. And I'm going to go ahead and bring it over to my fuel tent. So do you have a hand truck or a little trolley, as I like to call it? So think about it. If you need a third hand or an extra body to help you move something, this can be it right there. So if there's no one available to help you at a time where you need to move something, there you go. There's your, there's your buddy that can help you. I plan on using this mostly for whenever I move my 100-pound propane tanks all the way to the bottom of the hill here. Uh, next to my bunker and uh, that's going to be of great help because before I had to get Victor to help me carry it because I can't carry it by myself and with this all I have to do is put it on here in the standing up position and then strap it on and bring it down there no problem. Now talking about straps do you have a few extra set of straps? These are the straps that I carry in the back of my truck at all times. I have a couple of straps here I have a couple of straps in my Suburban, and there's a couple of straps in my wife's vehicle as well. Why? Because these things always come in handy. You never know when you're going to need them. And if you do get one of these little hand trucks, these are a perfect combination to go ahead and set up with your hand truck. Now, another thing, ladies and gentlemen, I know I covered this on another video, but these buckets just happen to be on sale, and my wife picked them up at Walmart. They were like three bucks a piece. You can't ever have too many buckets. 
So if you don't have buckets and you know of a place where you can get them for free or you can get them cheaper, go ahead and get them and stock up on them because not only can you use these to carry things, like you can put tools in them, you can use them to uh, haul water, right? You can use them to put away long-term food storage. You can use it as a uh, bathroom, worst case scenario. You know, just get yourself a liner to put in there with some wood chips, you know, and layer your wood chips in there and it'll work. It'll work in the worst of times, right? If you don't have anything else. But there's so many other uses that you can use buckets for. Leave in the comments a use that you use for buckets that we really haven't thought about. That may help someone out. And believe it or not, ladies and gentlemen, it actually works pretty decent in the snow as long as the snow is not deep. Or if you live in an area where you do get a lot of snow, there's nothing better for moving around stuff in snow than a sled. I don't know anyone in Alaska, ladies and gentlemen, that doesn't have a sled. Both, all of my neighbors have sleds. Billy and Dee have sleds. Everyone I know has sleds. Why? Because these things are awesome. I mean, like, when we go shopping and we have a big haul and there's a lot of snow, we'll usually just take the sled up to the top of the driveway load it up with our groceries and then bring it down onto our porch and bring it in the house so it's awesome having sleds i've got two of them here i actually have one more that has some stuff in it but you can't go wrong i even use these sleds extensively uh, in the non-winter months uh, the ones that i have about the ones that i have that i use a lot in the non-winter months because these are fairly new i just bought these not too long ago those are about four or five years old and they're still in excellent condition. You probably saw me using them when I was building the bunker to move around some of the concrete pads that I was moving around. So if you live in an area where it snows, pick yourself up a couple of sleds. Can never hurt to have it just in case you need that extra help. What I'm thinking about here, ladies and gentlemen, is I'm thinking about what are some of the things that I can do to help myself in case Victor's not around when I need to do something. In case I can't get a hold of one of my neighbors when I need to move something that's heavy, right? Or, or things that I'm not thinking about right now, but that I may need in the future. When I was in the military, when I was in Afghanistan, I always had a roll of electrical tape on my kit. It was always hanging off of my chest gear. I used my electrical tape all the time. So ever since that, I got in the habit of always keeping a roll of electrical tape inside of my truck or inside of my vehicles. What do I like about electrical tape more than duct tape? To tell you the truth, I think that in the winter time, especially in the extreme temperatures that we endure here in Alaska, it stays better longer. I've noticed that duct tape, when it gets really cold, it becomes somewhat brittle. But electrical tape, you can use it and it'll still have a stretch to it and it'll still stick really good. So if you don't have any electrical tape, get yourself some electrical tape and get some quality electrical tape. This stuff is some really good stuff. And man, I've used it on a lot of stuff. So that's why I always make sure that I keep some in my vehicle. Another cold climate thing that you ought to be thinking about stocking up on. This is some Sub-Zero windshield washer fluid. Now, another thing that may seem elementary, ladies and gentlemen, it's like a no-brainer, right? But how many of you have a couple years supply? You see, we go through about one of these in one year. And we have some of this left from last year. So right here, you're looking at a two-year supply for all of our vehicles. And if you don't have it, you'll wish you had it. Right, ladies and gentlemen? This is one of those things that if you don't have this, you'll wish that you had it. Let me show you something that I use to add to this to make it even more effective. As you can see here, it says that it'll go all the way down to negative 60 degrees Fahrenheit. But that doesn't always work. There's been times where even though this is rated for negative 60 degrees, it still gets frozen at like negative 40, negative 45. Let me go ahead and show you what I got that I add to this in order to make it even more effective. Now, some isopropyl alcohol, ladies and gentlemen, 70% should work just fine. But I just add one of these to the reservoir for the windshield wiper fluid. And then I fill the rest up with the actual windshield wiper fluid that I purchased. And this should work very well at keeping 
your wiper fluid from freezing in extreme temperatures. And like I said, if you can pick up 90, that's even better. Or I think it's 91% that they come in the next uh, one up. It's even better. I wouldn't really use the 50% because, I mean, 50% water in there. Why even bother with that? But 70% seems to work really well. Another very simple thing, ladies and gentlemen. Do you have any extra plastic or visqueen? This is 4.5 mil plastic. And it was a roll of 20 feet wide by 100 foot long. And as you can see, I've used a lot of it. I have another roll that I have put away. So whenever this roll is completely gone, I'll open up my other roll, start working off of that, and make sure that I purchase another one to back up the one that I'm working on. Plastic has a lot of uses. One of the things you can do with it is rain collection. You can use it as a tarp. As you can see, this year I went ahead and put a piece of plastic all the way down the cap of my tent, which will help with the snow falling down, and it's also going to help the tent from being eroded away because these tents here with the sun and with the snow and the wind and the rain the skin on it only usually lasts about three four maybe five years if you're lucky but i figure that if i put this plastic over it that it will help to preserve it and allow it to last me a few more years but you can only think of all of the things that you can do with plastic i mean especially nice thick plastic if you can't find tarps or tarps become unavailable you can make your own tarps with a nice big thick piece of plastic that you can maybe double up. So visqueen plastic, and you can either get it in clear like I have right here, or even better, get the one that's really dark, because you can even use that to black out your windows from the inside out. That way, if there's a grid down situation, your neighbors or the people that you don't want to know that you have lights inside going on, they won't be able to see it because you have blacked out windows. So visqueen, I think it's a great thing to have a lot of. So ladies and gentlemen, there are so many other things that we can go over. Now I do have one last thing to show you that uh, I want to show you that I've been using for a long time. I've just never really talked about it because it's something that's very simple. But there's so many things that we can get, that we can stock up on that most people don't think about. So do the community a favor. Let us know what you come up with. What outside the box thing do you put away that most people that you know don't put away. Now the last thing that I want to show you ladies and gentlemen is this. I've been using this for a really long time. Never really thought to share it with you. And what this is is I use this in places that I don't want to run a dehumidifier but that I want to keep from getting too humid. So for example I always have one of these inside of my pantry. All right? I also have one here on my desk in the bunker it just helps to keep the air moisture down to where it will not allow the things around there to like like for example my tin cans it will not allow them to start rusting right because it keeps the air moisture at a very good level and the way that this works is well let me show you as you can see i keep one here in my pantry and this one's been here for about two months now and you can see that there's a little bit of water there. Can you see the water? And then down there, you can see that there's still a little bit of salt. So obviously what I'll do is, is when that salt starts to run out, I'll go ahead and empty the water out and then I'll refill it with some fresh salt or some fresh crystals. I'm not sure if it's exactly salt or not. And it'll continue to do its work. And so what you see here is this is a two pack. Now they come in bigger packs and different configurations. They come in reusable packs like this. As you, as you saw in the pantry. And then all you have to do is just get these refills and fill it up whenever the salts, I call them salts, it's really crystals. I don't know exactly what they're made out of, but uh, I call them salts. Whenever the salts run out, all you have to do is refill it. And ladies and gentlemen, why am I showing you all of these different things that I'm thinking about here? It's because I honestly believe that they are not going to be very available in the future. I think that a lot of these things that we take for granted today that we really don't think about very much because they seem to be on the store shelves, that they're not going to be available or as abundant in the future and that they're going to cost more. So I went out and I got myself another two pack of these and I got myself a few more refills 
that should last me probably the next year. Because in all honesty, I go through one of these, one of these little containers right here in my pantry, which is uh, about, what, 72, 80 square feet. I go through one of those in about three months. About three months, all of the crystals are dissolved and the water is collected and then I have to refill it. All right. And under my house where I have my water tanks and my utilities, I go through one of these probably in the summertime. I go through one probably every month. In the wintertime, I go through one maybe every three to four months because it's not as humid down there in the winter time because of the temperature. So that's going to be it, ladies and gentlemen. I really hope that you got something out of this. Another thing that you want to pick up, pick yourself up some butane. If you have a butane stove, pick it up now, ladies and gentlemen. Unless, you know, you don't want it to become unavailable. Pick it up now. And you don't want it to go up in price. I don't want to have to go to the store when I need some of these and have to pay $15 for them next year instead of paying $10 for them today. And if you haven't yet, ladies and gentlemen, make sure you pick up yourself some Nutrient Survival. It is the best nutrient-dense food in the market, period. Right? Having said that, remember to be good to each other. When good people do good things, good things happen. Remember to reach one, teach one, and repeat. If we all did this, the world would be a better place, and you know that it will be a better place. Many blessings to all of you and your families. I'm Alaska Prepper. I am out.